good yt fam it's your girl alexis nicole welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey i make videos on signing agent topics and business clothing line topics and so much more <laughs> um so today we're talking about nine cons that a signing agent might experience especially a newbie might experience in their business and what to do now me mentioning these negatives i do have solutions or positives to go with that at the end because as entrepreneurs we have to be problem solvers and when you do come across these problems in your business you know how to handle them and if you are thinking on becoming a signing agent but you want to know all the facts the cons the pros everything before you really put your money into it don't let none of these cons stop you because i have been through all each and every one of these cons and my business is still thriving. I'm still making it as a signing agent. It really just depends on your mindset. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and get right into the video right after my theme song. Hit it. For everybody now anybody could do it but not everyone should do it because it takes a lot of self-discipline to actually want to study and learn about the documents and learn the legal work and you know market yourself like it takes a lot of time if you just don't have that discipline and you're not gonna have somebody to be on your case like hey did you do this today you know like you're not gonna have somebody you know that's one thing that's really important as in being an entrepreneur is having self-discipline so if you're lacking in that area you need to definitely work on it especially as a signing agent and it might not be for you if you can if you can't you know really stay on that Okay, con number two, not everybody makes a ton of money their first few months, their first month. I know on YouTube you hear, I made $5,000 on my first month. I made $10,000 as a signing agent. I quit my job my first month. All this stuff, and that is great. If you have hit a milestone like that in your business the very first month or the very few month, first few months, that is congrats. That's something to celebrate but don't expect it. Expect hard work, and that is the only thing you should expect in any business, okay? I know YouTube preaches a lot about success, and like they said, like that's all they kind of like push on YouTube because it's definitely an eye catcher, but let's be real, not everyone is gonna have that great success, success in the building. A lot of us are gonna have to work for it, and, a, and a including, including me, I have to work to get to those points as well. So if you have reached those points early on in your um, signing business, then that's great. If you have not, you're, it's nothing you're doing wrong. You just have to keep on moving and understand hard work is gonna be expected first before you get all these nice blessings. <laughs> okay, con number three, it's hard to get above the well-established notaries. Now, listen or take note that I said it's hard and, it's, that, and that it's not impossible. It's definitely possible for you to get up with the established notaries, but it honestly takes professionalism. And sadly, uh, nowadays, a lot of people don't have that professionalism. You know, being on time, getting things done correctly the first time, it's okay to make mistakes, but you really wanna keep your mistakes to a minimum right and you want to be professional as possible dressing well when you show up to your um, clients homes and you know speaking in a polite manner to your to your clients to your signing agents showing them that you are able to do this to, to do your job well you know some people say oh my first time so i make mistakes but it is possible for you to do it the um, right time the right way the very first time gosh <laughs> But yeah, um, it's definitely a little harder in more bigger cities where there's a lot more notaries around and there's just, it's just so many options and companies can choose who they want. They already have that relationship with the notary. So you just gotta really build 
and be personal and be professional. So personal and professional is probably what you want to focus on as being a new notary and trying to get it, trying to get up there with the well-established notaries. Con number four, you're not going to understand all the legal work as a new notary. There's, there's going to be so many documents that's going to confuse you and so many like notary rules that's not going to make sense because girl, I didn't, <laughs> there were so many things I was like, what? But the best thing about it is you don't have to explain any documents to your, um, to your clients. You just really got to get their signature and state what they are signing. So you can say the name, as long as you know the name and maybe like a sentence about it, you don't need to actually sit there and explain and it's actually illegal for you to do that. But you don't have to stress if you don't know a document that's in your package. I didn't know plenty of documents that was in my package and I studied a lot and for a very long time. It's just going to be some things that's going to come up and we're just going to have to learn as we go. So don't stress yourself. I definitely see people stress themselves when they come across things that they don't know because they get a they get a little nervous that they might make a mistake. And if you're not sure about something, just simply call the signing uh, company and ask them questions. That's all you have to do. Okay, y'all. I'm using my notes to remember all of this because this is a lot. <sighs> all right, con number five. It takes a while to receive consistent signing opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what I mean by this is when you, to have your phone just really just blowing up every single day and you just have a full calendar of signings, it takes a while to get there. And that's what, that kind of goes back to the, to the first few cons I was talking about when um, as a new notary, you're not going to be making a ton of money because it's so, it's, it could be hard to get your first um, assignment. It took me a while to get my first assignment. I know um, a few other subscribers that I spoke with, it took them a while as well. And be grateful that you have these five assignments coming up or three assignments coming up or even just one because it just takes consistency in signing up with a bunch of signing services to really get that consistency of opportunities to get your phone blown up, your emails, to get them calls. You really just need to be patient and also, you know, be working hard on signing up for a bunch of signing services. But don't expect it to happen overnight. And if it does, hallelujah. Okay, con number six. <laughs> Lots of great signing services don't want new notaries. And I actually made a video on signing services, services that will hire new notar notaries. So if you're looking for signing services that um, will hire new notaries, you should go check that video, um, video out on my uh, YouTube uh, channel. But yeah, a lot of really good signing services that pay on time, that pay well, that is professional as well as you, they don't want new notaries. I know this, I signed up for so many and I would turn my paperwork in and I would get an email saying, you have to be with one year of experience, two year of experience. I'm thinking like, how am I supposed to get this experience if I can't get my first, you know, assignment? And it just, it's just a requirement for them, but there's plenty of signing agents, signing, signing agencies out there. Um, you just gotta keep on going and don't let those companies uh, stress. But when you do reach those milestones as a one year notary or a two year notary, sign up for them so you can really, uh, you know, rise up in your pay and in your experience. Cause those are, there's some really good companies to work with that don't, that don't hire you to be sorry. <laughs> Okay, so con number seven, most signing services you sign up with will never hit you back. <laughs> so I sign up for like 60 or 70 signing services, maybe 15 of them hit me back. And there's so many reasons why they're not going to uh, hit you back. One, they might not be interested. Two, they probably aren't official. They're probably not working anymore or they're out of business, you know. So that's why I say just sign up for a lot and do your research on the best ones um, for newbies. But don't expect, you know, a rush of emails of stuff, sign services because it is so many out there and a lot of them are just not professional and they're out of business and they just still have their name out there. 
Just letting you guys know. Okay, so con number eight. Yeah, con number eight. It takes forever to get paid with certain signing companies. There are still jobs, or not jobs, but opportunities that I have not gotten paid from. I've done signings and I have not gotten paid from these signing services. And I did not mention these signing services on my uh, video I did with um, five signing services that will hire newbies because I was really upset with them. I called them and I said, hey, it's been like three, four months. I haven't got my money from this signing that was so long ago. And they tell me, oh, um, all of our signing agents are paid out already. You might be on the next wave or we're still working on that. So many excuses and then they just stop replying. So there are some signing services that will hire a newbie, but they won't be a good signing service to work with because they don't want to pay. I still haven't gotten paid. It's been like six, seven months. And I'm about to really, I really don't have the energy to go into all this legal stuff and fight with this. A signing service but it looks like I might just have to and if you ever experience this with a signing service you better fight <laughs> I know it, it is annoying but get your money because if you've done the work and you did everything right get your money don't let them run over you you can't let we can't let these signing service run over us okay we're entrepreneurs we got this it's a book line Whew. so just letting you guys know and last but not least, you do have to take in consideration as nowadays, it's just not safe to go into random people's homes. Like, it's really bad out here. <laughs> um, I mean, like, I know there's plenty of safe places in the US, but man, things are getting really crazy, especially with the the virus and with politics and I, so many different reasons of why it's just not safe anymore. So just take all the precautions that you can when you do get your signing and you go to your client's house. There was so many times I was gonna take my mama with me to a signing. She's gonna sit in the car and wait till I was done because it was far away. I just don't, I have a problem trusting people and it's just better to be careful. So if you have a feeling about anything or something just don't feel right, always trust your intuition because it's not safe nowadays. People are crazy out here. They're for real crazy. And I don't want no one, I don't want nobody hurting my subscribers. So y'all better take all the precautions y'all possibly can. And if you're a new or you're thinking about becoming a new notary, take that as a consideration because you need to be smart and you need to handle things professionally and always always put your self-care above anything above money above business besides god but your your personal care really matters okay but anyway y'all that is the end of the video that was a lot of talking but i really hope you guys got some gems and you guys are not afraid of any obstacle that comes across your business y'all got this and I'll be checking in with you guys next time. Please, if you got any knowledge or wisdom from me, go ahead and like and comment and subscribe to your girl if you haven't subscribed already. I'll be posting another video this week very soon. See you guys later. Bye.